Yo! Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mark. And Mark is here as a guest. Yeah, I'm glad he's here. Yeah, it's been a, it's been quite a couple of days. We're <laughs> launching a new disaster detailing channel, Jeff and I. Mark needs content for his YouTube channel, which has been popping for a few years. We've been working on it for a long time. So Mark came up and I said, hey, let's do everything while you're here over two days and not sleep at all. And we pretty much <laughs> did that. And we're burned out. And my back feels it. Oh, yeah. We were like clean. We don't detail cars. If you guys didn't know, that's not our job. We do now. Well, we have to because people were waiting for it. Oh, 100%. But it was good. Mark Mark decided, I, like, Mark's a pretty clean dude. I said, like, Mark, don't clean your truck for like two weeks. And it was it was pretty raunchy. I, I loved know, it. I don't know how you got, like, what, 19 pairs of socks dirty in, <laughs> in two weeks. Yeah. Well, something tells me those were there before that. <laughs> yeah, something tells me that too. But uh, like I, I'm into wig surfing, right? So at the end of the hard day work, you know, oh, you, yeah. you strip it down and, you know, it goes into the back of the truck and Fair you throw long. that in the laundry and, uh, you know, <laughs> mom's not always happy. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, we have a new challenge today. We we did this way back in the day with anyone watched it. Why do we do this anyways? Because it's fun and I like scratching tickets. But basically we've got a hundred and how much? $250 worth of scratch tickets here in this pile. $275. So, $275 with the scratch tickets. Plus a couple of nickels to scratch. So that's <laughs> Some Canadian nickels, which are about not even a penny US. <laughs> but basically what we're going to do while we're talking, shooting the breeze, talking about my note, I've got a cool, there's lots of stuff to talk about today. Um, we're going to scratch tickets and whoever wins the most in their pile wins all the pile. No? Ooh, yes? I don't care. Or would you guys rather, whatever we win, we split three ways? If we win a lot, I would like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm a share the love kind of guy. Yeah, okay, we'll share, yeah. share love. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll split that. it in the yeah. end. There's no winner. But you guys will be, our viewers will at least be aware that don't buy a lot of tickets because we know there's $275. We'll probably win about $60. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You're gonna All this is going to prove is that it's completely worthless to buy scratch tickets. If we win a million dollars, though, on one of these million ones. Who a story? Mark, didn't you have a story about somebody winning big? Uh, yeah, actually, I was, uh, I was talking to a girl... From back home there, and she was she was telling me she won like 250k last week or two weeks ago. What? And because of the Jeez. situation going on, she she's not allowed to cash it right now. So it's uh, not it's allowed to cash it. Yeah. So she's like making all these dreams and plans on how to spend her money, but and can't. new friends, lots of new friends. Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. Okay. So. so anyway, long story short, let's get scratching. I want this pile. But you get the big pile. You should let Mark. Big, okay, well, Mark's the guest. You pick your pile. Mark, Mark. gets that pile. That's that's the best just pile. because that's you want it, Josh. <laughs> I want that pile. Yeah. Just because Jeff you want it. This one has more in it. No, I'll take this oh one. My okay. Gosh. I'm good. All right. Before we get started, I've got. Uh, uh, we're gonna do a grievance right off the top. Airing a grievance is something we do. Oh. I love 7-Eleven slushies, Slurpees, yeah. whatever you call these no, things. No, you love. Let's let's just get this straight. You love sugar. Sugar. I love sugar. And 7-Eleven sells sugar in many different forms. But they used to have the big thick straws with a spoon on the end of them. Yeah. This is what they have now. Paper straws. I'm over it. I'm not going to buy another slurp, Slurpee at 7-Eleven. I cannot stand paper straws. I can't even drink out of this. I okay. can't drink out of it. I'm throwing that a challenge. You cannot buy any more Slurpees at 7-Eleven. I can't 7 even drink out of you it. You cannot. How can, long do you think you're going to go? I'm just going to keep... I'll bring my own straws. Would it be okay if I offer you a solution to your pursuit of diabetes? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so what they do is they make sustainable straws... Yeah. Out of bamboo now. Yeah, oh. okay, fine. You got to get a bamboo straw. And they're I'm big, not taking dude. a straw with me. Why not? I'm not bringing a straw around me because I'll be on my floor of my car and it'll have, it'll have diseases in it. It's COVID. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm just pissed. That's my grievance. Okay. And I can't stand paper straws. They're the worst right. thing. Why can't restaurants get like straws that are like plastic but biodegradable after not five minutes but after like a day? Like you put know. a paper straw in a drink and it's the most disgusting feeling, tasting thing in the world. So, so you know, the, the compost bin wrappers, right? They're made out of some kind of like plastic material. Couldn't they just make that thicker or would that dissolve too quick? It's too expensive. The problem is it's expensive. Ah, okay. All right. So I don't know what this one is. Red seven. I don't know what that is, but it's uh, a... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to play these things. This is the first Uncovered time cherries these to win $77. Hey, you got the app again so that we can check them? Oh, the app. I have the app. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, before we get on to everything, we're going to keep scratching. Let's get into hot topics. Or do you have a dad joke of the week? I got a dad joke. Dad joke. Let me hear it. How does the moon cut his hair? How? Eclipse it. No? Yeah. Nothing? Yeah. It, it's all right. It's a dad joke for sure. Eclipse it. <laughs> we got, no, I got it. I got it. It's maybe, like it's, it. maybe it's Spanish. Eclipse it. <laughs> that was a bad Spanish accent. I don't even know how to win on this one. What do you have to do? Ugh. <sighs> 
I'm just gonna scratch like, the bottom part and see if I win. I'm pretty sure I have to match these numbers. Yeah. You guys are scratching the heavy duty ones yet? Yeah, I'm no. going right for the thirty dollars. I can't believe this is worth thirty dollars. You pay thirty dollars for this. It better win something. So you had to get cherries. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, do you guys so let's get right into uh, what we did this weekend, which was disaster detailing. Jeff and I, we told you at the beginning, at the, at the outset of the show, that we are starting a disaster detailing channel, which is in, uh, basically, it's a spite channel. <laughs> well, because the other guy that's doing detailing is a bit of a, a bit of a douche. So we decided we're going to do this because you can watch ours instead of his, and ours is funnier and better and better. And we clean Mark's truck. Yeah. And so what was Mark doing? What were you doing at his house this weekend? Uh, yeah, well... I was rocking out some porch column posts, and you know, it's it started with this kind of, yeah, we'll just kind of do some columns. And then it turned into, hey, can you match the same wood as what's in my front door? Which, <laughs> what's the name of that wood again? Akoya. Akoya. Yeah, we've we've it's had a lot acidulated. of fun. It's acidulated. It is acidulated. And I'm, I guess we've been working on that channel for years. Oh yeah, since 2013. Since 2013, and we've been, but I moved away from where Mark's from and moved down here, and so we kind of took a pause. But now we decided we're gonna walk, keep going, go hard. Seven bucks! Come on! Hey. Come on! Hey. Seven nice bucks. Work. We're like not even close to almost there. <laughs> Let me scan this one. You scan. So we don't even need a scratch. We can just scan them. Well, half the parts, half the fun is scratching them. Oh my god. 30 gosh. bucks and nothing. No winner. No winner. I thought what? you wanted 30 bucks. Garbage. Come on. Throw it underground. Burn it. Yeah. But here you want to go to Mark's channel and you want to watch his DIY. He's got a lot of cool DIY. You should like have seen Mark's wood though when he was walking around the Mennonite. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Oh, yeah. He was it was definitely out there. It was out there for sure. <laughs> um, but okay, so let's get into hot topics. You can tighten it right there, Mark. Use that as tight as no, no, tighten as high, tight as you can. It's just a gong show. Yeah, for real. Anyway, so hot topics. Did you guys know that Kanye West is running for president? Heard this. Yeah, me too. When you told me this morning. If I'm American, I'm voting Kanye West. What? <laughs> what? What is the platform? Here's why Kanye West is. Everybody's like, why is he running against Trump? I thought he was a Trump supporter. Because he wants to take votes away from Joe Biden. He splits the vote if he runs, and you can vote for him. Because. He'll take away votes from Joe Biden, apparently. So That's what they're saying. He's still trying to get Trump he to win? He splits the vote because if there's three front runners, yeah, and Trump gets up more than a third, he wins instead of more than half or whatever, right? More of the of the voting base. That's yeah. I think I think that's what's happening right now. She's Lane Maxwell, which is uh, Epstein's wife. Ugh. Caught, to going to jail. How did they finally get her? I, they must have had something because they found something. And I'm not sure how they didn't put her in jail when he went to jail. Wasn't she just as complicit in this whole thing as yeah, he was? They seemed to like not touch her for some reason when that was going on. So I don't know what's going on with she that. Say, she kept saying she didn't know anything. Okay, I don't even know how to win this one, so I'm just going to scan these big ones. Scan them. Not a winner. $30 tickets, yeah, not winners. Garbage. Garbage. Don't ever buy them. About this one? Five bucks! Five bucks! Yeah. What is the winner yeah, pile? We're at 13 Love bucks. It. You've got this... See, Mark, We were, remember we did that video when I talked about uh, GoFundMe taking away H's... Uh, um, funding. Oh yes. They wanted to refund yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. And I thought that their lawyers tore it down. Anyway, Mark's got a sweet property out somewhere. I'm not gonna tell you where it is. But you have this tree idea thing, and I think walk us through what you're gonna do, and I think it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. So I've got this this uh, cedar. No, not cedar tree. Sorry, it's a spruce tree growing on my property. Huge. And uh, it's you know it's it's I would say it's about 120 years old. Like. I couldn't wrap my arms around it for sure. Like I'd probably get about two thirds of the way around. You got huge and arms though. I, I do. You're like I you're do. Jack. Eight yeah. bucks. Come hey. on, come on. This is so, the best. <laughs> so, Sorry guys. So the whole idea is that uh, instead of tearing, uh, cutting this beautiful tree down. Well, it's not really beautiful because it's been hit by lightning so many times. It's like two thirds of a tree, and like the top section's missing. So it's like, just picture like Christmas time, sitting at the Christmas tree. Six but, bucks. Like, no. <laughs> no star at the top, you know, because you can't. These. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, so, so no I just, I, I'm just, I'm just, I was trying to f figure out kind of what we could do. So basically, I was, I'd go up about 12 feet, but we'd let it evolve, cut it off, and build a, a, a bunkie on top of this, this. So basically, a big tree. giant uh, treehouse. Yeah, absolutely. but like custom home builder style treehouse, oh, like because Mark, level. Mark for a living owns Green Mark Builders. Go to GreenMarkBuilders.com. He builds custom homes, but not like just, you know, like a home. Like go check out this the link below. Some of the 3D scans of the homes that he's done. Mind blowing what this guy can build. Like million dollar homes. Yes. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one winning here, guys. Oh my god. Hey, I'm up five bucks. 
But uh, no, bas- <sighs> basically... That's cool, though. A big old treehouse for dudes. Yeah. I love it. Can we yeah. call it a man bunkie? We can call it a man bunkie. What does that mean? Oh, man bun. Get it? It's not a play on words. I, my moon joke was better. As long as you don't call it in fr- that in front of my wife, <laughs> that's okay. Because basically you're going to tell her it's for the kids. 100%. But we're going to design it for dads. And the kids and are never going to be in it, right? Because they'll wreck it. Oh, for sure. We're so if you're do- watching this episode, give us some ideas below what we should put in the bunkie. We're talking... I was thinking like stained glass window with like... Boobs, no, nope. come on, <laughs> just kidding. My, for the oh kids, my gosh, or oh, just yeah. or a beer chalice. That's cool too. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. What is going on? And there's got to be like, there's got to be secret compartments for things. Yeah, no, no moose antlers though. No, yeah, no. All right, Mark, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, you build. How many houses have you built? Uh, well, I've been in the business for 20 years, but uh, Green Mark's been around Eight for... Eight bucks! Yeah! Sorry, Mark. No problem. Been around it's for 10 money. and a half years, so, yep. you know, we've built around 30, 30 houses so far. What's the most expensive house you ever built? I built I built one on a uh, major waterway, and uh, yeah, it was around four and a half million. Holy smokes, man. Riverside so what you, home what, for what? four and a half mil. What's in a four and a half million dollar home that makes it four and a half million dollars? Well, it starts with being north of 6,000 square feet. Okay. Holy. Uh, and then, uh, you know, just everything in it is about design. Like, uh, I call those, like, design first homes yeah. versus, you know, like, banging out square footage where you're just building as much square footage as cheap as you can. Okay. It's about a home where there's features everywhere. Every Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, you're seeing something unique in the house. Okay. What's the most expensive piece of whatever that you've ever put in a house? Yeah, so like custom work we've done. I did one house I was building. I put a bar in, and uh, I think we tallied it at the end. <laughs> it was it was just shy of uh, 90k. We built the chandelier above the bar, and uh, with strip lighting. Uh, is, like that, is that the light. one I'm thinking of? Uh, yeah, it's you. Take a look here. Yeah, it's a Josh did a 3D scan on it, so it was pretty sick. Oh, it's that one. It's that one. Yeah, nice. yeah. The place is it's, awesome. It's, it's, Let's lose. never do this again. Yeah. Well, like, I told you, like, I went on a trip with, with my wife and a couple of friends to Vegas, yeah. and I didn't play one, I didn't gamble at all. Like, I just, I just didn't. I, every every time I wanted a drink, I had to pay, like, 25 or $30, or whatever, <laughs> whatever it was, right? U.S. Because I just, it's so against my DNA. To gamble. Yeah. Yeah. Not, I love a, gambling. I'm not a big fan. I love slot machines with all my heart. What a waste of money this is. No? This For sucks. For reals? Oh my god. We only made like $20. There's something about just scratching the barcode and finding out that you didn't win that is like even worse. Oh, I know. Because it's just like money gone, money gone, money gone. <laughs> four bucks. Yeah. One four? Nice. Let's try this one. Do my 100 life. bucks, boys! On. 100 Shut bucks! Up. Shut up! Shut 100 up. bucks, honey! That's the big money. Honey. That's the big money. Bucks. Yeah! Can we get our money back? Uh, oh, leave hanging. hanging, buddy. Hundo! Oh, that better be making the money back. Not a winner. Trish gets so. It's not. There's no way. It's, we paid two hundred seventy-five dollars. We have like five tickets no. left. We got hundred and fifty bucks in there. Maybe. Oh, there gonna be oh. another hundo. That's a hundo, sure. though. That's, yeah, I that's, love the hundo. That was heavy, that one. But anyway, so I'm really. What I'm really excited about Mark's channel is that we are gonna build this man bunky, and it's gonna be incredible. So head over to Mark's channel right now. Just look up you build creative or Green Mark Builders, and go like his channel right now. You can go like his channel, please. With Mark on video with us right now, are you going to make him a little less sexy than us? No. Can't, it can't, it's, un, it's impossible. I know, it's impossible. It's impossible <laughs> to do that. Mark's hot. <laughs> Come on. Mark, do you have abs? Us. Do I have abs? Can we see no, your abs? No, I do not have abs. Can you show the ladies no, your abs? No, no, no. I do have a dad your bod. Wife? Dad bod. You have a dad Yes. Four bucks. Yeah. Yeet. How many kids do you have, Mark? I got three, and then plus whatever placements we have. Right. Yeah. And that could be brothers, sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Groups yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Are you just Are you just always on the list for a placement? Like they call you and say, "Hey, do you got the room, the space, or the willingness?" Yeah. So basically, as soon as we finish one placement, yeah, it, it, we open up. But uh, like we're we're a little bit specialized because my wife and I both are like Check that we have right. our level eight sign language, so uh, yeah, we could take nonverbal kids and stuff like oh, that. Oh, you have so. level eight. You know, cool. do you have sign language? I, I don't have level level eight. I'm considered by like fluent, but my you, wife. You're fluent is, sign language. I'm, in, I'm fluent sign language. Yes. 
correct. Yeah. Do some some signing to our people who watch, who, yeah. are, who may be deaf. We gotta put. You know, we gotta do. You and I gotta talk. We gotta get Mark in the bottom corner doing what they do with the, when the politicians. <laughs> can you go oh, fast? Yeah, yeah. Can you go That's fast? So cool. How, can I go? Can I sign fast? Uh, decently fast. Yeah. Okay, let's. Uh... I love the animation that comes with the like the people that are good at it in the corner. Oh, yeah. I actually find myself watching them while it's happening because I love it. Your oh, wife can sure. do it like oh. that. Like she's fluent. Oh, she's ridiculously fast. Yeah, That's, That's amazing. So cool. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let's say a phrase. Don't ever buy this many lottery tickets because you're going to lose. So, in sign language, it's less words. So, I so would say, don't buy tickets uh, because you're lose, an idiot. Lose, this loser. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they know what you mean when you do that. So. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, yeah. The biggest, most costly mistake you've ever made as a custom home builder. Oh. Tell me how much. I want to know. I want to know how much it hurt. Oh. So, I... In early in my career, I built one house that uh, I was really going for it. And I designed this house like 4,000 square feet. And I had it placed on this piece of property. But because it was so big, the septic was massive. It was on an estate uh, subdivision yep. lot. And uh, so I had to push the house back. And it was a waterfront house. And uh, I, push it, it I, I push it back so far that uh, ended up that it didn't have much of a backyard. I so lost. You, I so lost, you lost money. Figures. You lost seven, seven figures. Honestly, how uh, how bad did that hurt? Do you have to tell your wife? Does she know? <laughs> oh, she knew. She knew. Yeah, it was it was painful. But because you know, like you, you go in and you, you act like, oh, we're gonna do this and we're gonna make X amount of dollars and everything's gonna be good. And then uh, when it doesn't happen, she they go, I I don't want to pick on my wife or anything, but she, she, they say, you know, <laughs> and like, well, I thought you said it was gonna be like this and it was like a guarantee and that. And then you go, well, you know, there's nothing in life that's a guarantee, right? Yeah. But uh, for some reason we have to make these guarantees to our wives all the time i don't yeah. know if you guys find that i told trish these scratch tickets were a guarantee oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that happens to you guys too eh? yeah, i haven't i've never i don't think i've ever made a super costly mistake in my life where it was like well, i'm sure if you ask kathy there might be something but i like I, I don't deal in like major projects like that but like if i lose 20 bucks i get pissed oh yeah me <laughs> too <laughs> yeah oh. well let's go back to epstein so if you think about what happened with Gis 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 oh, Gislaine, Gislaine, what's her name? Maxwell, Gislaine Maxwell. So anyway, so basically she gets caught and we all know Epstein was hung. He did, he killed him. He did not kill himself. Everybody, here's the thing about this tinfoil hat conjecture on this one. <laughs> Everybody knows in his agreement that he did not kill himself and this, he was murdered and nobody is saying anything. Yeah. People say it and it's like a joke. It's whatever it is. Nobody's saying anything. It's like, okay, yeah, he was killed. Okay. Yes, he was gross and dirty and whatever. But he clearly was killed because he knew something. He was being protected up to the point where he could no longer be protected, right? He goes to jail. Yes. And then he's going to he's gonna flip because he's going to get make a deal because he doesn't want to spend the rest of his life in jail. And the people he's going to flip on are going to be huge. So what happens? He ends up dead. She is going to end up dead. Yeah. I'm calling it right here. Oof. Well, because she knows everything. She knows everything he knows. He knows. Yeah, and she's his henchwoman, henchwoman, right? So for sure. But, but maybe I'm wrong because at this point, if she wasn't already killed while out in public, could have been a car accident, whatever else. Like, I don't know what's going to happen, but if she flips to get a deal, she's going to be killed. That's my tinfoil hat today. And it's scary because the guy, w it, he was so well protected because of all the people that went to the island, Clintons and everything else. Everybody, no, Trump. Everybody went to this pedophile island. Everybody went. Trump they, for sure. Trump went. Oh yeah. I I know Clinton. They said he Clinton was like on. Sure. He was on the uh, yeah, 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 manifest. Yeah, he was. Yeah, on the, he was like so twenty eight times or oh, something. Oh yeah, crazy. and the, the some of the royal family went. We know that. Uh, that that's was, for uh, sure. Prince now they're saying Elon face. Musk, really? and he's denying it hard. He's like nope, nobody nope, denies nope. it. But they're saying like, like if you at this point if you've gone to this guy's pedophile island. There's nothing good that everyone on there. There's no way, way that little island that island was there for that purpose. Anybody who's gone there is basically going to be like they're painted with that brush now. Wow. Well, you should be. Why the heck else would you go to that island? That's crazy how connected this guy was and how this is why it's so scary. He was so well connected that he was so well protected until he could no longer be protected because of some FBI agent or whatever that was just like, look, we have to do this because we can't ignore it. And then he was killed. Yeah. Crazy. That is pretty crazy. Anyway. Oh. I don't even like talking about it. Woo! It upsets me. It's scary. If we end up dead tomorrow, you can have my stereo. <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming out, Mark. We appreciate it. And uh, anything you want to say to people while you're here? No, oh, I'm just happy to be here. I just, I've been listening to you guys for a long time, and I'm just so happy to see what's happening with your uh, YouTube channel and everything. So, yeah, like, bumps. I'm just... 
I'm just loving what's going on with this North Coast Creative and all that yep. sort of good stuff. So yeah, I'm just happy. We got happy a North Coast Creative Network, and so we're working on it. So the disaster detailing is part of that. Mark Screen Mark Builders and You Build Creative is part of that network, and we got obviously the Dad Challenge podcast and a couple other things down the pipe. So we're working on that together. Head over to Mark's channel. I think it's YouTube. I think right now, if you watch it now, it's youtube.com slash greenmarkbuilders. Yeah. Or you just type, or just you, type you build in you, creative. Yeah. Type in, in you build the, creative. In the search engine. The, he built a platform bed that's actually up in my bedroom. It's amazing. And then this video, he did Jeff's uh, post on the outside of his house. They look, Mark is like the best so good. custom home builder in the world. He's the miter man. I he won't build it. your house though. You can't afford him. Mark, no, I, no, I no. want to say it here too. Uh, Trish wanted me to pass along thanks. She didn't get to say goodbye oh, before right he left. On. And yeah, she loves it and they look great. And Awesome. Yeah, we'll make sure our neighbors like them too. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is just got some neighbors. And they're cool. They're awesome. What does yeah. she say? One of them said like, do you like those? <laughs> Like, she came around this morning, them. though. <laughs> oh, that was that was ridiculous. I, I just I That's just reminded me of like everybody, you know, when you see something that uh, is just so bad that you can't help but comment. You know, yep. it's not a really bad haircut or whatever. Yep. I felt like that that my posts were a really bad haircut. <laughs> no, man, no, but they're yeah, amazing. She just, yeah, yeah. So you must get that a lot, though. You must get a lot of like um, not lot, but someone will walk in and an idea you've had and be like, why would you do that? But a lot, but your custom no. homes are made and some of the weird things you do is because of the clients have asked for it, right? Oh, for sure. Mark has won many, many awards. He's very, he's got many leather bound books yeah. and mahogany. <laughs> Smells yeah. of rich mahogany. <laughs> we work with good people, like good yeah. clients that, you know, really, really like to dream and, and let us kind of That's just so be creative cool. and, and, you know, just create something that, you know, I wouldn't say weird, but, you know, something that fully like reflects who they are, yeah. you know. And How much would it cool. cost for you to go build a custom home for one of our viewers, like let's say in Florida? Oof. See, I don't know, like uh, where we are here in Canada, like our labor is crazy expensive. Like in Canadian dollars, you know, I say like I range for between a 300 and $500 a square foot wow. to build. So like, but over there, you know, like with the diff like the different cost of labor, it would be lower for sure. But uh, yeah. would you do it? Like, let's say a client says, Mark, I want you to come build a custom home down in this beach in Florida. Would you do it? Well, we would have to see. It what would be they, have to be the right price. Yeah, and and I I'm certified to build here in Canada, you know, with you know, oh, yeah, to be certified, whatever. Yeah. But like, I don't know what kind of certification I need out there, you know. Just so. go build. No one will care. What certification uh, you need to make illegal deck railings? <laughs> <laughs> illegal deck railings. Oh, that's another. That's yeah, another topic. Jeff, right Jeff there. has his railing <laughs> on his back porch, and it's got like cables, and it looks beautiful. Yeah. But can't, Ontario. Yeah, a code does not allow for yeah, it. Yeah, right? you cannot put horizontal rail railings because that's considered a climbing hazard. But in the states, in different uh, you know areas, you're allowed to. So the man's not going to suppress me. <laughs> oh, for yeah, sure. Do it. Your neighbor will call and call the bylaw on you. Nope, yeah. I got good neighbors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Mark, thanks for coming on the show, man. I know you got a long ride home, and your wife and kids are waiting for you at home. But um, it's been a good one, and we didn't win very much money. No, it's garbage. That really sucks. Hundo though, winning a hundo. No yeah. matter what is cool. Yeah, so Not you, when you spend three hundo. That's true. You figure we got a buck forty there. Buck, buck 50. forty. Yeah, right on. It's not bad. Right on. That's I'll dinner. It. It's dinner. Oh, for sure. Let's get some dinner. We, we could have had more dinner if we didn't <laughs> buy them. That's true. We could have had two hundred seventy-five dollar dinner. 100%. I was, you know what? I was hoping to win a million, and then we get a viral because of it. Oh, oh that would have sure. been next time. Unbelievable. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching the show, guys. We're so excited you've come to hang out with us. Um, my name is Josh. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mark. Remember, head over to the channel and head over to Disaster Detailing and find our new channel. We're posting a video this week, Check the first one. So before we even post a video, I'd like to see how many subscribers we can get. Before we even have one video, here's how you can spite James Stoffer and Stoffer Garage. Go subscribe to our channel without videos on it. And all you wonderful ladies that watch, tell all the dudes that like detailing of cars and, and stuff, tell them to subscribe because they're going to like it. It's We do jokes and stuff. We, a lot of boob jokes. <laughs> it's not uh, even that. It's, it's we do all the good detailing stuff and make it funny and awesome. Yeah, yeah and whoever's vehicle it is, they totally take shots continually through the entire entire yep. process so i i just kind of got to hear some like earshot from what was going on and uh, <laughs> i was really proud of myself i'll tell you that much you, we, had, you had way eaten, too many crusty socks in your truck just oh, eating nuts sure. out of the cup holder god oh knows how long god. they've been there for so gross it's still good though i Those mean are, pecans are good pecans are like yeah can they go bad probably uh -huh. anyway I'm whatever sure can. Yeah. thanks for watching guys like and subscribe we love to hang out with you we're gonna do a live q a maybe tonight possibly mm, by the fireside sure. so join us for that and uh yeah we love you peace out see ya <laughs>